I'm... Why don't we use these things more often? Oh, that's why. Before we get started with this video, I want to give a shout out to these people right here who support this channel through the YouTube membership program, I guess is what it's called. They pay $5 a month and they support the channel and they get a bunch of nifty perks. And if you're interested in that at all, check it out by clicking the join button down below this video next to where the subscribe button would be or on the Walcom S7 YouTube channel page. There's a lot of things that you get for paying five bucks a month, and you really help support this channel, and I really appreciate it. Least of which I could do is show the wonderful people who support me. Ha! Huh, that's, uh, that's a weird-looking Nerf Blaster, and, uh, your sarcasm is not lost. This is not a Nerf Blaster! I know, heresy, I'm, don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. I'm always going to be a Nerf-focused channel, but I was given the opportunity to check out this gel ball shooter, which are pretty popular all over the world. Unfortunately, they are banned in Australia and other parts of the world, but some places where airsoft is banned, you can use a gel ball shooter, which I think is pretty cool. These things shoot like little balls, like Orbeez and stuff like that, that you soak in water, and they're basically like airsoft, except for their little ball gel beads that uh, you would think not really hurt, but as you saw from the very opening of this video, they do in fact really freaking hurt, probably because this one shoots at like 300 FPS, which is ridiculous, but I was given this, I was asked to do a video on it and include a buy link from Amazon, and I thought I'd give it a fair shake, and I've had it for a couple of weeks now, and I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with this package right here. And what does this package contain? Well, if I open up the box here, you will see it contains, uh, well, a G306 in some pretty interesting color schemes right there. We've got a magazine. We've got a bottle here of pre-done... If I can get this out of the... There we go. We've got a bottle here of pre-done gel balls. This is the ammunition it shoots. We've got two little packages right here of like 500 rounds each of the gel balls. We've got a charger for the battery that is already inside the blaster, and we get some nice tinted safety goggles. We're just gonna take out the important stuff for right now. And the packaging is really nice, but there's not a whole lot to it. It is a huge box, and I mean, look at that, it's all shiny and stuff. Uh, props to that. Unfortunately, I don't see anything else on this package besides the G306 right here and a bunch of Chinese stuff. I guess this is made by Enwell. And it says it comes with 1,200 pieces, but 99% of that is gel balls. But here's the interesting bits. We've got the blaster or gun. What I, I actually don't know. Is it a gel ball blaster or gel ball gun? Because I know it's not an airsoft blaster. It's an airsoft gun. So I'm not quite certain. But we get the blaster, the magazine, and we'll take these out since these are pre-made and they're really easy to use. And the battery actually goes right up here under the foregrip. And it's a, I believe, a nickel metal hydride, I would assume? Very, very hard cells. It's not LiPo. This one is 7.4 volts, 1200 milliamp hours. Very, very tough. Works pretty good. And you get a lot of shots off this thing. I have fully charged this battery, and I haven't had to charge it since I did that. And I've almost emptied this bottle, which was full at some time. The blaster itself has some pretty interesting features as well. It's got a no fire, semi auto, and full auto built into the gun, which is pretty darn cool. It actually puts out quite a bit of air. <laughs> and it does have some nifty tactical features like the ability to fold the stock if you want to. Uh, I don't really see a reason for that, but the whole select fire system is ambidextrous with knives. The mag release is completely ambidextrous as well. There's even an ambidextrous charging handle Although I don't think it actually does anything. I think it's just made to look cool. Like, it does actually reveal that chamber right there, but it's just flat plastic. Nothing seems to happen when you do that. Got a little rear adjustable sight right here if you want a smaller or bigger aperture. Front sight is non-removable, as is the rear sight. Lots of Picatinny all over this thing, anywhere for whatever you might want to put on it. And overall, it's a very solid solid construction. I'm quite pleased with the quality of this thing because I haven't even mentioned the price tag and this entire kit is like $60 on Amazon, which I thought was uh, very reasonable for all the stuff you get. 
The magazine is also very interesting. It has some neat features built in it. Like, built in right off the bat, you can connect multiple magazines together to do quick reloads, which I thought was nifty. And it's self-winding, which I wasn't expecting. There's a little indexing thing right here that is agitated by the blaster gun thing itself, which means that once you fill this thing up, you just press this a couple of times to make sure the balls actually index up into the feeding ramp, and then you put it in the blaster, and you're good to go for a few hundred rounds, and this magazine does fit quite a few of these gel balls. And it's really easy to reload. You just slide open this chamber right there. We'll take our pre-made gel balls here and dump them in and drop one, because that's a thing that's going to happen apparently. Look at that, we had just enough to fill this thing up. Probably don't want to overstuff this thing, but we can fit quite a few more in there. Close that up, and then if I push this button, it's going to start indexing gel balls all the way up to the top. And then it's good, I can pull this back, and gel balls come out. And yes, this is the ammunition. It's a slightly bigger than normal airsoft round. These are seven millimeter. I believe most airsoft rounds are six millimeter. So there's not really cross compatibility there. And they are very small and quite firm. Although if they hit any hard object, they're just going to destroy themselves, which uh, means there's pretty much no cleanup because these things are going to then evaporate and become microscopic and you're not gonna have a problem with them anymore which uh, means the ammo is not reusable, and if you don't have enough made up beforehand, you're gonna have to wait, because these things do take a while to constitute, but you basically just dump them into some kind of container, and over time they're going to swell up and absorb water and become cool. And the ammo is ridiculously cheap. This stuff almost costs nothing. Although there is to be said that because these things are kind of cheap and easy to make, and there's so many of them per package, the problem stems that they, uh, because they aren't usually perfect spheres, some are more accurate than others, which we'll get to. Because that's kind of an issue if you were to buy, like, cheap airsoft BBs versus expensive ones. You kind of get the same problem here with these. If you have cheap ones, and I don't even know if expensive ones exist, but these things definitely go from being reasonably accurate to turning instantly at 90 degree angles. Then you just blow the magazine up in here. We can set it to single fire and fire it once or twice. And there we go. It is now shooting BBs. Here's it shooting a plastic bag. Yep, it stops it. Although it is really trying to break through this, and that's kind of where these things get a little interesting. They definitely hit really hard. If you shoot bare skin with this, which I guess I have to do on camera, even though I'm, I already know this hurts. Oh, oh, I'm not kidding. That really freaking stung. I hit myself right there. It's already kind of swollen up a little bit. It doesn't really leave a bruise or anything like that. You definitely know you get hit, and if you get hit point blank with something like this, yeah, yeah, it hurts, but the BB explodes, and then it's gone, and I mean, if it hits, like, your clothing or something like that, you feel it, but it usually either just bounces off or destroys itself, which is pretty darn cool. Plus, you can fit a lot of rounds in one of these magazines, and with how cheap the ammo and the blasters are, I'm kind of wondering why these aren't more popular over here. This is nothing super special. It's probably a really cheap gearbox and everything in here, but for the $60 they want for this kit and how much you get and everything is included, I'm kind of taken aback with how cool and good this thing is. And even like the really nice ones of these aren't really that expensive compared to like the Airsoft variants, which is interesting. I'm not quite sure why that is. I'm not entirely sure how long this kind of gear system and everything would last. This bottle was full when I first got it. I've ran like two or three mags out of it. Now it's empty and I'm haven't had any problems. I've had a couple of misfeeds and stuff like that, but it's usually immediately fixed by just shooting the blaster a little bit more. And that's just because, again, these things are squishy. They kind of bunch up in the magazine sometimes, but haven't had too many issues with it. I know this isn't Nerf, but if you just want something fun to shoot people with or just kind of shoot at targets in your backyard or something without having to worry about cleaning anything up or anything like that, this is a pretty solid solid buy. And I can't say if this is a bad or good blaster. I'm just saying for what I got right here in this package, I had a lot of fun with it. The range is very good. It clears my property, no problem. It's equivalent to like a 150 FPS nerf blaster. It can just absolutely decimate the entire property. And you can single fire it and hit targets with a reasonable degree of accuracy. And the rate of fire is really good if you want to use it on full auto as well. So I'm kind of really happy with this thing. And if you thought these were all interesting 
You may want to check out the link I have in the description. I was not paid for any of this. They literally just, hey, do you want to take a look at this? And it's not somebody I owe anything to. I'm like, yeah, sure. I, I've never checked one of these things out. And now I'm kind of interested in the entire ecosystem. I kind of want to get a good one of these and see how awesome they are. But I'd have to actually be able to shoot people with it or something. And that... Uh, that's not a thing that I actually get a chance to do all that often. I don't want to take something like this out to a public park, although, honestly, I don't know if there's actually a problem with that, because it's not airsoft, it just shoots these little biodegradable BBs, so... I don't know. Let me know what you think about the Gel Ball G306 down in the comment section below. I Hopefully you found this interesting. I certainly thought it was worth doing a video on. And you'll probably see it again in the future if I have some other way to play this with another person. And if you're wondering if this can be converted to shoot nerf, no, I highly doubt it because of course the barrel and everything in the system is meant for tiny little seven millimeter BBs. And even if you were to scale that up, I don't think it would have the air pressure to do more than like a stampede anyway. So plus you'd have to completely redesign a breach system and all that for it. It's not worth your time. It's not gonna be cross compatible. Don't even bother. But I certainly enjoyed it. I'm Walcom S7, thank you very much for watching this video, especially this one because I know it's kind of random and weird, but I do look forward to seeing you in an entirely different one. You gotta 